Hello, and welcome to ShipU Stats. In this video, we're going to go over how to label our variables, as well as individual categories within our nominal and ordinal variables. As you can see in this data set, we have a series of variable names across the top row. To input these variable names into JASP, just go ahead and make sure you've labeled each ind individual row in your original data set, such as an Excel file, with the variable name in the top row. For more information on this, go see video 101 on creating and opening a file in JASP. The next step in this process is labeling individual categories within each of our nominal or ordinal variables. As you can see, we have a number of labels already in our data set here. However, all of these individual labels are represented by numbers within JASP. To enter these individual labels, you can go and click on the variable name itself for both nominal and ordinal variables. It won't work for scale variables. When you click on that individual variable, you'll see a number of values listed here, and that's the value that JASP sees for that variable. However, you can label those individual variables here just by changing their value. Once you've changed that value and clicked off of it, it will change over here in the spreadsheet and the added bonus here is that these labels will now show up in any relevant tables for those labels. All right, thanks for watching this video on labeling our variables in JASP.